Yeah, so um, we are packing the food here for leg three. Um, we're packing, well, 32 days, might need to stretch to more, we will see. I'm British, so obviously this is my pack here. We've got some uh, Twinings El Grey and uh, some black tea. Basically, each sailor on board has his own bag where we have the freeze dried. Two of these um, sort of main meals a day, and they're between 500 and 800 calories. Here we go, like some pork loin or some scrambled eggs with cheese, and that's definitely something more. Or, because I'm Italian, some spaghetti carbonara will work extremely well. A spork. We have our freeze dried inside here. You just put it underneath. Your hands, your body is away from it. You open it, you just put enough water that you need to hydrate the meal again. You close it again, you steer, put the cup on, wait for like 15 minutes and your meal is done. Um, and then on top of with freeze dried, because not everyone actually loves eating the freeze dried, it's just a necessary evil, uh, we have some snacks. Um, I'm a little bit of a snack monster, so I like chocolate for snacks. Another pouch like this for nuts, MMs, that's a pretty good with some chocolate, so snacks. So we've got lots of sweets going on here of everyone's favorite. So a little bit of Haribo, a little bit of sweets, some chocolate, and there's actually a lot more chocolate. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my favorite snack, I can show it to you if you want. This is my favorite snack, tortilla wraps. And uh, we have two jars of this for 35 days. Yeah, not much, but a uh, bit of peanut butter and a wrap. Some wraps. So we have like ketchup or hot sauce. So that's a pretty good snack. In Cape Town here, they've got really good dried fruit. So we've got lots of nice mango and different dried fruits. So we're just making our trail mix at the moment. A few M&Ms in there to uh, spice it up. But um, yeah, we'll have quite a few bags of nuts as well to have a kind of salty treat. Noodles and like just some plain rice, especially for the raft days. These are actually one of my favorite things on board. It's like baby food, especially when it's rough and you feel a little bit on the edge of being sick. Uh, and normally it's really easy for your body. So it's like applesauce with some cinnamon. It's actually really calming. These bowls are pretty gnarly. <laughs> the snacks are per day, so you can never eat tomorrow's snacks today. And the idea is that there will always be something available, even at the end of the leg. Yeah, so it's pretty important that we really stick to that. As we've already seen, it's really hard to cook food. It's very hard to boil water and get it in the food. And I think in some conditions, it's almost impossible. So that's why we need snacks in those times. And of course, if the leg starts to get longer, at some point, if you realize that, you need to start sort of rationing a bit. We've got all of our hot drinks. A lot of coffee. Seb, our navigator, he has a tiny, tiny coffee machine. It's a lot of effort, but you put in one of these capsules and you get a sort of Nespresso out. Um, we always try to use like, uh, at least like a reusable uh, options to then have the same like bags for each leg. So we are not like just use it, throw it, never see it again. And then there are some uh, protein powder freeze dried and all the snacks has a lot of carbs and so the amount of protein during the leg is pretty low and that's where most of like the weight loss from sailors come like we try to balance that with more protein to try to at least keep a little bit more like muscles mass so we have a mix of what is correct nutritional wise so we have the right amount of calories the right amount of like carbs protein and fat every day but at the same time with an eye of like what you actually enjoy. It's a balance between like, I'm happy to give up some nutritional facts because I also need some like mental rewarding. As, as always, it's micro gains and the food is, is making a big difference. It's quite a lot of food, but of course it's a lot of day at sea.